a lesson on using a Chromebook in the classroom. So basically what I did, I started out setting up a, a Socrative pretest uh, over the skills that I'd be testing today to see and get a general knowledge of where, student, uh, where each student performs. Um, having taken that, I was able to quickly see the results of what students struggled in what questions or what areas. Um, then I could pinpoint my instruction based on that. Uh, I set up, prior to that, I set up a lesson uh, for students to go into in some dog. And took a guess based on what I've seen over the past you know, few lessons um, and tried to generalize where students would go and I set up specific skills for those students to work on so that there wasn't any waste of time after the quiz. Um, then after the quiz results were tabulated, I was able to pull small groups and focus on the skill that, that they struggled with, those particular students, while the other students were working on the lesson and summed up. Um, so there wasn't any time really wasted, everything was maximized. And um, I was able to really see immediately and, and hit where struggles were so that we could kind of tackle them. Okay, let's try it. Let's go through that right Small groups is just the, the attention. Um, some students have a, a hard time in, in whole class settings, as well as teachers. Uh, teachers have a hard time seeing which students are kind of not paying attention because kids are pretty good at faking it sometimes. So small groups it gives you a really individualized way of uh, communicating with the students and, and really hitting home directly and seeing immediately the results of where that student is performing at. Some dog is, is great because you can generalize, you can you can either generalize things or you can pinpoint um, particular areas or skills uh, based on the common core, it's all linked in there. Um, I can set up uh, lessons, I can set up competitions. Kids like that competitive, if you've got a competitive class um, or if they're competitive in nature, they can uh, play games against each other or they can play games against anybody who's also in it, which is kind of neat. Are you working on right now? Some dog. Okay, what are you working on with some dog? Fractions, fractions and measuring. Okay, are you all working on the same thing? No. no. How do you know what you're supposed to work on? He sets it up for you. really just sets it up and then just goes automatically. Okay, why, why do you guys like Sumdog? Because yeah. you can play with other friends and it makes fun to play. And sometimes there's tests that you have to But also just the fact that I can print out multiple reports, I can see um, individualized student reports, I can see class reports, there's fancy graphs I can look at, and it's all quick and, and very relative.